And <clears throat> speaking of living on, word came from Miramax this week that, oh yeah, no, it has nothing to do with the <laughs> with our kill it, thing. kill it with fire. <laughs> they are producing a, a peacock series. I think it was for Halloween. And their words were, in light of the success of the new trilogy, uh, they're going to come out with a TV series to explore this large world of all the people that were in the movies that didn't necessarily focus on them. But it's not going to have anything to do with the new trilogy. At all. Yeah, so it's like, uh, yes, based on the success... And does hate really like constitute success? I don't know what the budget was for the last movie, but well, I got this article up here um, from Deadline, and it I'll I'll kind of quickly read over this. Miramax Television in October signed a deal with Trankus to develop and co-produce a Halloween TV series, which is envisioned to potentially launch a cinematic universe spanning film and television. Miramax and Blumhouse, motherfuckers. <clears throat> Collaborated with Trankus on the success, successful recent Halloween movie trilogy. We're on the fast track. It's a big priority for us. We had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people. And I think we'll have a pretty good idea of what, of what we're going to be doing very soon, Hellwing said, adding, we're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon. You don't have a creative team? What the fuck are you doing coming up with an idea already? <laughs> a creative team they probably already have a fucking poster. Yeah. It, oh, we want Michael Myers, and this is all about the town of Haddonfield, but Michael Myers is only going to show up in maybe one episode. So oh, make Lord. a TV series around that, please. Um, Get your fucking creative team in place. At least with the Crystal Lake show, they hired Brian fucking Fuller before the lawsuit all started happening they at least hired brian fuller to start putting together an idea yeah yeah this there, that... oh we got an idea but we don't have anybody hired yet to fucking make this together what the fuck are you doing but it's gonna be huge <laughs> well blumhouse is involved so maybe dgg is gonna be involved dumbass um it's a big world, Hellwing said, of the 13 movie franchise. The most recent trilogy, culminating with Halloween Ends, provided a fitting conclusion to the story. So I don't think that this is an opportunity to go off the back of that. Good. So the series is going back to the Halloween franchise's origins. Oh, dear God. <laughs> The foundation of it is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on. Oh, fucking shoot me. <laughs> Lindsay's family. <laughs> oh, we're going to go into probably like um, Dr. Loomis's like third sister twice removed that he's oh. a questionable relationship with. And then actually somebody in the 70s was a bit. I don't know, whatever. Risque. Uh, his nurse, the lady that was at the beginning of part six, that would be interesting to see, like her having all his files and shit like that. I mean, obviously it ends with her dying, but yeah, I could see that being somewhat interesting. But a lot of the people that survive don't survive either the next film or just really weren't that entertaining to begin with. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're focusing on characters, yada, yada, yada. It's a creative reset completely going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out any of the more recent film adaptations. So you're going to retcon everything, you dumbasses. How Again. about you do something different and don't do anything for about five to ten years? Let the damn franchise sleep. Stop turning shit out. You saw what happened from going from kills to ends. Your virtue signaling killed the fucking franchise, and you want to double down with a fucking TV show? Get the <laughs> fuck out of this franchise, Blumhouse. Go work on your original content, your your newer movies like Imaginary. Go Five Nights at Freddy's. Keep doing that. Stay the fuck out of legacy franchises. You've killed Halloween, and you've now killed The Exorcist. Great job, you fucking morons. 
Yeah, like up until now, because I still haven't seen it and I won't watch it just on principle. Like the only Halloween movie or not Halloween exorcist movie that I did not like and will never watch again is part two. Yep. One, three, and four are fan for me. I love those flicks. But two and five, never ever gonna happen. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't it was it was unnecessary. It was all unnecessary. The stories didn't make sense. They're just trying to, you know, milk the cash cow. Yeah. I don't know. I I love Halloween. I will probably try and give this a chance like I did with Halloween ends. I just I don't have much hope for this at this time. I just I don't even know what to think other than you're going to retcon things. You're going to make shit up. Like, just let it go for a little while. Let people want to see Halloween, not dread what you're doing next because you completely shit can the whole franchise. You know what I think they and should I do? I like 2018 and I like Kills. Ends pissed me off too much. I liked Kills. I didn't really care for, for the 2018 and... I won't watch. And I get that. Yeah. It, that one was a, the virtue signaling took away from the story. Yeah. Like, there was more inclusion in kills. I think than there was the virtue signaling of, of 2018. Like everything felt proper in, in kills. Yeah. Uh, or not preachy anyway. Like it was inclusive, but not preachy. Yeah. There was some, bad moments and kills i i ain't gonna say that there wasn't but I, I put up with 2018 i enjoyed it for what it was kills like the first fucking like 15 minutes made that movie for me <laughs> and i know a lot of people are like he killed firefighters yeah it, as a motherfucking badass it's a body count franchise this isn't serious drama here people if you want that go find a different fucking movie they they were all 9-11 veterans. Um yeah. Like, yeah, no, I my wife was one of those people that f found it uh inappropriate for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And I totally get my wife's opinion. I respect that. Yeah. I don't hold life that sacred, at least of all in movies. Um it's a like, Halloween, it's a slasher movie. What do you expect? Him to hand out daisies for rescuing him from a fire? Or Christian is. <laughs> well, I mean, like, cops are, are cops. They get beat up by Michael Myers all the time. Yeah. Firefighters are like extremely fit specimens, next to like second only to maybe soldiers. Right. So for him to just like tear up 30 of them with a whole bunch of different weapons, including the Jaws of Life, they nope. had my attention. That was exciting. Yeah. I was not offended by that. I was too excited to be offended. And here's another thing. My uncle is a fireman. He's also a giant cunt. So it's like, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a preconceived notion of that. <laughs> my friend's funny. dad was also a firefighter. and He was a really nice guy, but no. Oh. And I have friends who are firefighters and they loved fucking Halloween kills. They're like, that's pretty fucking dope. This so is what like, they should have done. Well, one of them did say that they're like, maybe you should have taken the ax and done this and done that and used the water hose like this and like that. I'm like, why weren't you consulting on this movie? <laughs> that would have been even crazy. They're like, this is pretty good, but they could have made it really gnarly. It's like, go oh, damn yeah but i mean it's as long as he doesn't drive the fire truck after the fact you know hey he got taught how i think if they want to do something different and i'm sure somebody's gonna fucking recommend it at some point they could have this anthology series that is the halloween narrated by michael myers like somebody's gonna be like i so got it somebody who doesn't talk <laughs> <laughs> Because really, this is the same studio that wanted to bring you a movie about Harriet Tubman starring fucking Julia Roberts. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about that. Oh. <laughs> no one's going to remember that. 
I mean, I rag on Blumhouse about like the franchises, but seriously, their original content's better than this. It's just David Gord Green kind of killed the fucking Halloween franchise for me. And then he also did that to Exorcist Believer. So that's what we got. I am not a believer. <laughs> I'm really not. And I, you know, I'm glad I know his name because if I see it attached to a film, I'm likely going to skip it. Like, yeah. he's just not that good for me. Yeah. Hey, Justin, what's up, buddy? What's up, Maynard? Where did we he got go? Some, uh, somebody watching us, Kevin. Oh, he's on the chat. Yeah. How do? <laughs> on the YouTubes. The, the YouTubes. Yeah, so people come chat with us. We love that. Yep. We're we're figuring out the stream yards. We're 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 getting this. Yeah. But um I'm not I'm not gonna hold my breath for this. I want to see the the Crystal Lake Chronicles. Not the Chronicles, that was the, the Crystal the Lake. Yeah, I want to see that series. It 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 potentially could be really cool. Well, if Brian Fuller's involved, I am automatically in for it. It's like if you would have told me like for like the Halloween series, like they had somebody in, like, uh, I'm just going to throw a name out there. Daniel Cerrone, who did the Constantine series. And he was also a writer on a show called First Wave. And he mm -hmm. also had, like, Chris Mankato, showrunner of First Wave and Third Watch and a bunch of other wonderful shows. If you would have told me, like, some good writers were involved, I might be like, okay, I'm a little more down for this. But the fact you have an idea and you don't have any creative team in, in place, no, that, that doesn't work for me. And that means that the studio has an idea. They want somebody who will make that work for them. Kind of. And where I get disappointed also is Danny McBride. Like, he is a really smart fucking guy. And he loved this franchise. I don't know what happened to his, like excitement for this series or whatever yeah i unless it's a comedy i don't know that i'll go see another one of those flicks oh that'd be funny if it was like a sitcom, a sitcom. <laughs> with the michael myers family who's the killer <laughs> my awesome. my big brother <laughs> we could be really mean with that one i mean yeah we'd probably focus on the strodes uh the, uh, just call it uh, different strodes different strodes 